Prince and he goes back to the 9th century. So this castle is 12 centuries old. You will look how beautiful. And then down below there is a dockyard. This is the second most important dockyard in Italy for the production of sheep. The first one is in Genova, in the Tolorno Italy, the region connected with the friends. And look, Sorrento is now in front of you, on the lava rock balcony. Look what a beautiful spot. Look how amazing my dear is that? You can look on the right. Three, two, one. Give a look down below. You see the beach, the bathing establishment. Now, how the Apollon can reach this area? With a little train called the Circum de Zuviana. There is a stop right nearby and people can go to swim down there. How do you like it? Isn't it beautiful, my dear? Very nice. And then you see in Italy we have the almost all the private bathing establishment. In Italy you got to pay 20 euros for a day on the beach. They're gonna give you the sunbed. Very limited, the public beach. Very limited. Look on the left. Do you see the layers of the sedimentary rock? So you have to imagine that this was in the water, in the sea. And that's why you have all these layers, all these sediment. You see? Very, very clear, eh? Sorrento. We didn't go on the close town of Korea, so we got taken to the hotel. And it uh, sits way up on a hill above Sorrento. Got a very commanding view of the Baran, you see. And that's the name of it Johanna Park Hotel, just the Rampian Bar. balcony at the Johannes Park Hotel Sorrento. Dinner tonight. Let's go. Let's go. This was 
Port of uh, Sorrento. Here's our restaurant up there that we've eaten at twice in '99 and 2012. Where we stayed in 2012. I want to take you also to see Hemios this afternoon. You, you don't have to buy, but you have to learn about. It. This is the infamous gully that we drove down this morning to get to the port. It's a landmark for us.
come to Sorrento and this was a plate shop and Betty bought her plate here uh, from Sorrento on the second time we were here. I don't know if it was a victim of COVID or it, what, but now it sells bells. Even though it's covered with plastic right now because they just had a big rainstorm come through, this is one of the main shopping streets in Sorrento. In a bit of nostalgia, Betty and I have come out to the forest. We're sitting basically where we did 11 years ago. Uh, when we had that beautiful sunset, that palm tree is still there. The weather's been kind of rainy, so we're not expecting the, the bright uh, sunset that we had 11 years ago with the bright hue. But this will have to be. Betty has her typical red wine. I have a theater more that we can't have dinner here tonight because we're having a bag of that hotel. I get the big bright sunset with a hue, but we did get a rainbow. <laughs> We're not arguing. A rainbow has now turned into a double.
dinner at the hotel. So. We never thought we'd ever see this site again, but here we are. Those are lights of Naples, across the Bay of Naples from Sorrento and the Amalfi Coast Peninsula. So Although it's too dark to see it, Mount Vesuvius is actually about right here. Fixing to head down stairs and gonna leave this hotel. It's a nice hotel. The Johanna Park. Hotel. Time to say goodbye to Monte Vesuvio. Thought I was doing that 12 years ago or 11 years ago. But nope, one more trip. That's cold. Don't forget we have a Mr. Vivaldi, the composer of the Four Seasons. So in Italy we enjoy the four seasons, we enjoy summer, spring, autumn and the winter and we have heavy clothes, but it never goes below zero really. But in Celsius, in the winter, we have uh, maybe during the day 10 degrees, in the night uh, 2, 3, 4, January is when it's very, very cold. So can you see Capri beyond the Sorrentine Peninsula on your left? I mean, just the highest peak of Capri, and then you can see the rest uh, coming up.